Hey guys, Ilya here. In the previous chapters we've covered how to change background colors, how to add decoration images on top of your plugin. In this video let me show you the options for the toolbar, for the meters and for the status bar. The easiest way to change meters is just to browse these presets, try different meters. This one looks nice probably for this background. Maybe these meters are also fine. Like other parts of the skin, meters have uh, the general settings where you can choose how many meters you want, 4 meters or even 8 meters. You can also have a single meter that shows you the maximum level of all channels. This can be useful sometimes. And if you have several channels, you can group them. 8 channels grouped by 2. And you can add some additional spacing between groups here. You can also change the range of the meters. For example, if you want to see only the top 30 decibels. In the general parameters, you can also set the meters orientation, which can be reversed. And there is also an option to make meters horizontal. This is a hint that you have to save and reload your skin to see the effect. These are the general settings, you can hide them. And these are the theme settings for the meters. Meters can be placed inside, over your body. Sometimes it can be useful. Let me show you another script. You see this is a script that takes up all the space uh, in the body. And you can have your meters on top of that. Or you can have them traditionally apart from your body. The same thing here. You see they are added to the body or they can be on top. I forgot to mention that you can also hide the meters as well. Or you can show the input meters only or just the output meters or both. To place meters where you want them you can adjust the padding horizontal, vertical, so they can be as large as body. So adjusting the padding you can place the meters where you want them. You can also offset them vertically. The meters have the box, which is kind of the background for them. You can change the opacity of the box over here. You can choose the color of that background here. You can as well have the gradient background, just like for the body and for the other elements. The box can have a stroke and the stroke can be thin on the edges and more thick on top and bottom. This is the stroke expand parameter. By the way, you can also make the box stroke a bit rounded, which looks nice sometimes. The box has a padding as well, so that the meters can be inside that box. The offset, you can slightly move the meters inside this box. One of the important parameters is the width of the meters. You can make them wider or smaller and you can set the minimal width of a single meter. For example, one channel here. And you can increase the mean width total so that your single meter looks as wide as this. Inside the box, the background, you have the stripes. You can choose which colors are used. For example, for the mid-level, you can choose the blue. You can choose how they are spaced, how they are grouped, is there space between groups. You can choose the inner padding of the stripe so that they get slightly thinner. And you can also add the stroke for each stripe, also the roundness for the stroke. There are several types of meters. The first one is these gradient meters and there are also flat colored meters. If you have meters from minus 60 to 0, 10% is 6 decibels. So let's make the bottom, let's say, 30 decibels green. And then next 18 decibels are yellow and top 
12 decibels are red now. This way you can adjust it. If you're using flat colors, you can also change the background opacity. If you stop the music, you can see it better. They are slightly transparent. There is also another kind of meters, which is LED meters. You can choose how much LEDs you want. For example, I want 20 LEDs. No, I want more. You can also choose the minimum size of the LEDs. 10 always and even in small. Even in small plugins, you see they, they still are big. Okay, let's make it vice versa. The maximum is 6. Let's load another script. And you see, though you want two LEDs, you can't have two because you have set maximum LED to six. If you make it bigger, you can have two LEDs. Another thing you can set for LEDs is the roundness. So you can have them slightly rounded. It looks nice. We can make them slightly bigger. So they are like circles now. And you can have them square as well. And you can also set the minimum space between the LEDs. Probably the easiest way is to just try these different theme presets and maybe go from here. Maybe you like these LEDs, just you want them to be slightly bigger. So adjust the minimum LED size and maybe adjust the spacing and maybe add a bit of roundness to them. That looks nice for my taste. You can compare before and after. Okay, let's save these LEDs to here. Meters, LED, white, B. And we can quickly load them later. There is also the hold level line, this tiny line here. You can choose which color to use for that line. The color of the actual level, red or yellow or green, or you can make it always say white or always gray and you can also change the width of this line so in the comments you can leave your opinions what these meters are maybe lacking or what you like about them let's move on and the next thing i want to tell you about is the toolbar customization okay let's talk about the toolbar the toolbar as well can be hidden if you hide it you need somehow to open the menu that you can usually access from here and here. You can go here, general settings, expert settings, and choose right click action, open menu LM. If you save and reload, now even with the toolbar hidden, you can right click and access the main menu just as before or access the Latimix menu. If the toolbar is shown, you can choose which elements you want to see. Let's add some more icons over here. And on the right, I want undo and redo. You can also choose how many icons in the row you want. If you choose some icons that use additional options, for example, I have chosen the plugin info icon, which opens the info link save and reload and after reloading clicking on this button takes you to the site we have just mentioned you can also enter the file name here relative to skin or you can just leave it blank to open the about dialog clicking on here you can also set the fixed title my title save and reload so no matter what script you load you will always get the same title in your skin. Let's go back. You can choose what to do when you click on this title. For example, you can choose to do nothing or add your own. If you add your own action to the skin, you can put your own custom action here. So the title can have the custom action and more traditional actions like reload script. You click on the title, you reload the script or reload the skin to reload the whole skin or the default action which is reload skin or script if you mouse over you can see here you click to reload the skin and here 
you click to reload the script. This side is script, this side is skin. You can also choose to open the manual, you can also open presets, or you can open the info. This is the same as here. And let me show you some more icons here. The bypass icon, you can have it here or here. There is also the manual icon, which opens the manual PDF if it's inside your skin presets icon which opens the presets menu and you can have presets as the area right here for example in the center if you choose to display both title and presets maybe you want the icons also take two rows you can make it this way and you can adjust if you click on icons you can adjust spacing between them here you can make them slightly bigger or smaller you can offset them change their opacity change their colors so there are some options for the icons show control settings show these tiny controls if they are in your skin this is also the default behavior of many of blue cat audio plugins if you use the presets you can click on the presets and adjust a lot of parameters font size which font to use size of the presets area offset it maybe vertically slightly to the bottom the arrows position if you go to the minus values you can place arrows inside you can move them further away if you adjust box padding if you have a very narrow box here you can adjust the text padding you can also adjust the stroke width of this box all the colors let's make the fill white and let's make the arrows red <laughs> and the stroke red as well okay so this is fully customizable if you click on the title you can also choose the colors for the title and if your auto options are on when you choose the color for the title it automatically sets the same colors for all the elements on the toolbar when you change the font size you can choose either the font size to be relative to the skin base font size or to be independent if you change later the base font size all the elements that are relative will change its size as i have shown you in the previous video you can add your own fonts to the fonts folder here it is after adding the font you click on this icon with scan fonts and you get the font in this list you can also choose the minimum and maximum size of the title and if you set the minimum width you can choose where to place the text inside this box and you can also choose the padding vertical and horizontal slightly offset all the default options the easiest way to open the skin file is to go here edit xml file here's your skin and you can add your own elements to the toolbar add a template name it start it with the toolbar and then add for example my logo okay and inside let's just for demo purposes put some text here now we can add this element don't copy the toolbar just the my logo part here items right in the toolbar now let's reload the skin okay you see this new element here this is what we have just added let me show you a better example i have an a logo here in the svg format you can put them right inside uk uml and let's place this logo instead of the title let's reload and see what's going on okay here's the logo in the center i want to be able to click on this logo so that it takes me to the url i want for that we can place an invisible button on top of this logo to make it we add a layer stack this tells the renderer that we will put these items one on top of another i'll just use 
a quick shortcut that is used in analytics skin on click url reload okay click go to the site that's cool by the way if you add your own elements here you don't see them in this elements list you can add them for example you add the my logo add custom items my logo logo you can add several items here my logo too after reloading the skin you can see them right here and you can choose them just as any other element or you can just replace the toolbar with your own toolbar just remove this file and include your own the skin will be working fine let's move on to the status bar the first thing you maybe want to do is just to hide it because it shows everybody that your plugin uses a script that is successfully loaded but if you hide the status bar you lose all the information about the errors in your dsp or when you print anything you don't see it here so the option for this situation is to show the status bar only when you get the errors or when you use some printing let me show you an example if the mix knob is less than 30 let's print the mix knob value so we have set the status bar to show only on errors and print and when we turn the knob down our script starts to print and we immediately see the status bar just like for the toolbar you can choose which items to show on the right for example i have added the sample rate and the block size you can make the toolbar very minimalistic just the icon that shows you that your script is running you can choose for this icon to be visible always or also just to show an error so when the script stops you'll see this icon and you can click on it and see the log there is also an option for the log line to show always or just when you print or get errors and another cool thing is the custom text here we are in the KUML let's say we want to track something let's print to the status from here we are in the inline script so we have to use quote instead of regular quotes and let's print hello and the value of c1x oh, let's print the hue okay reload so now we see the hue this is the element that is called custom text as well as with the toolbar you can add your own elements to the status bar use the same idea the template but you name it status my data for example you can then copy this name my data add it to the instead of the log line let's say so this is your own element in the status bar if you add this element here and reload you will see this item here and you can move it over here now i use it on the right this is that easy using these little icons you can set the minimum width of this log line item or of this custom text item and using this flex cell you can set any of these cells to be flexible which means that this cell will take all the free space just like with the toolbar you can click here to change the status bar parameters for example font size the font family the icon size the icon color when running it is green when it is warning you can see the preview here it is yellow you can make it red you can choose the spacing between the items the offset of the icon the separators the padding color color opacity make them this white we've covered a lot about the status bar toolbar and meters customization i hope you didn't get tired thank you for your attention and i hope you'll find this skin useful for your scripts i wish you have a great time and write really cool plugins till next time bye bye